Uh, so this is our second video on spending money. Uh, in this particular video, we're going to be calculating the percentage discount. In the last video, we learned how to calculate the discount uh, and calculate the new sale price. This time, we're actually calculating the percentage discount. Um, now, we're, we're still buying pants here. In the last video, we bought pants. This time, we're buying pants again. Slightly more expensive this time. Um, now, these pants were originally $140 but they're now only $110. So the question is, how good a deal is this? What percentage discount are we getting uh, if we pay $110 for something that was originally $140? So the way that we can work this out, uh, it's pretty simple. We're trying to figure out a percentage discount, a percentage discount, and our percentage discount is equal to the dollar discount divided by the original price. Okay, so uh, there's a little more that we can do with that formula, but I'm going to leave it at that. So after after we've got a formula, we really just need to figure out how we're going to how we're going to make this happen. So question first is what was the dollar discount here? We can do this as a little bit of side working over here on the left. The dollar discount is equal to the original price minus the selling price. And you can use these little shortenings if you want. The original price of this thing was 140. The sale price is 110, which means that the discount must be $30. So we know what our dollar discount is, it's $30. And we're going to, I might just use the right color there so we don't get too confused. The dollar discount is $30 and we're dividing that by the original price, remember to use the original, not the sale, of 140. Now you're not gonna be able to do it in your head so make sure you grab your calculator out. So it's gonna be 30, uh, where's our divide by? Divide by 140. Okay, now be careful here. This gives us a percentage discount of 0.2142 and 8. So keep your four decimals and make sure you round correctly. So the fifth decimal is 8, so I'm going to round that one up to 3. 0.2143. Now that's the percentage discount, but it's the percentage discount as a decimal. So that is not the answer. Make sure that when you do that, you realize that you now need to convert it to a percentage. And you do that by moving the decimal place two spaces over. You've done this over and over and over again in different ways. So the answer is actually 21.43%. Now I just made these numbers out of it, out, out, up out of the out of my head I guess. So 21.43 is a bit of a silly number. What does it all mean? Alright, so somebody, who whoever owns this pants selling store, they were selling pants for $140 and they went, oh we're not, we're not selling, we're not moving enough, we need to discount them in some way, let's discount them by 21.43%, so the new selling price was $110. So all we've done is look at a original price, found the discount price, and then calculated how much that percentage discount was. In this case, 21.43%. Uh, now the formula you're looking for in this video, I guess, is this one here. Make sure that you've got it and make sure that you can use it. Uh, there's a bunch of questions you can try after this one as well. Uh, you could, if you want, write down this formula, but I think it's pretty obvious. The dollar discount is equal to the original price minus the selling price. That's something that I think for most of us it's going to be common sense. So this is the major one right here. Alright, that was our spending money uh, calculating a percentage discount.